special about a Rolls Royce. And generally speaking, the earlier the car, the more special it is. But even a 1950s limousine like this Rolls Royce Silver Wraith James Young Touring limousine simply oozes quality. Everything around you is beautifully made. The almost sculptured Bakelite switches, this squadron of British made instruments set in a walnut sideboard, which tell us that everything on the mechanical front is as it should be. This is a wonderfully over engineered Rolls Royce, after all. Even the feel of the steering wheel brings a smile to the surface. And as you enjoy one of the best over bonnet views in the business, led by the majestic kneeling lady, any residual stress you may be feeling simply ebbs away. Some years ago, in a classic car guide, I read that the Silver Wraith was a car not to drive, but a car to be driven in. I totally disagree. Not that being driven in it is any kind of chore, although I do feel a tad underdressed. I have often described the big Jaguar saloon of the 1950s with its acreage of wood and leather as a country house on wheels. Well, if that's the case, the Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith is a veritable palace. With its well-mannered auto box, this Rolls is easy to drive. Any self-respecting enthusiast would simply revel in the joys of guiding this surprisingly agile leviathan of a motor car over any road in the land. I've had great fun with this grand old piece of automotive history, but it's now time for someone else to experience the glory. If that someone else could be you, please contact Ray or Ian at The Real Car Company. time.